Okay, this is uh, quiz four study guide. And we're on number one. You should probably have a clean sheet of paper out because there's not a whole lot of work not a whole lot of room on this study guide. So number one says that DFG and JKL are complementary angles. The term complementary in this case means sum ninety. They add up to ninety degrees. So DFG is equal to X plus 5. And JKL is equal to X minus 1. And if they're complementary, then they add up to 90 degrees. So that's what the problem should look like. The next step is going to be to combine your like terms. So your X plus your X is 2X. Positive 5 minus 1 is positive 4, and it still equals 90. If you subtract 4 from each side, then 2x equals 86, and if you divide by 2, then your x equals 43. They asked you to find the measure of each angle. Well, it said that DFG equals x plus 5. So DFG equals 43 plus 5, and that's 48 degrees. JKL is equal to X minus 1. So JKL is going to be equal to 43 minus 1 degrees, which is 42 degrees. So those are your two angle measures. Set the expressions. Set the sum of the expressions equal to 90 and solve for X. After you solve for X, substitute it back into each expression to find the measure of each angle. I'm recording this and I'm going to put it on YouTube. So I can't really stop. Alright? Alright, number two. You've got this picture, LMNO. And it says that MO bisects LMN. And if that's the case, then these two angles right here are equal to each other. You're told that LMN, this big angle, this entire angle right here is equal to 5x minus 24. You're told that LMO equals x plus 30. LMO is x plus 30. Find the measure of NMO. So you need the measure of angle NMO. So you have to solve for x first. If this angle on the left is x plus 30, and these two are the same, then the angle on the right is x plus 30. So you've got 2 of the x plus 30s equal to 5x minus 24. So 2 times x plus 30 equals 5x minus 24. If you do the distributive property, then 2x plus 60 will equal 5x minus 24. If you subtract 2x, then 60 will equal 3x minus 24. And you got to add 24. So 84 will equal 3x. And you divide by 3.
So 28 is equal to X. All right, but you need this angle right here. You need NMO. And that angle is equal to X plus 30. So you can substitute. So take 28 plus 30. So that angle is 58 degrees. Got it? All right, number three. Find an, an angle adjacent to DGE. This is DGE. I would get a highlighter out tomorrow or today and highlight this angle, DGE. And then if you want, you could even color it in. And what you need is an angle that's adjacent to it. And adjacent means next to. So this angle right here is next to it. And this angle right here is next to it. Okay, and there's an, an F right here, and there's an H right here. So there's two angles that are adjacent to DGE. One of them is DGF, that's the red one, and the blue one is EGH. All right, those are both correct answers. Adjacent means next to, an angle next to the yellow one. If you highlight the yellow one, it'll make it easier to see an angle that's next to it. Number four. Name an angle complementary to COD. COD is right here. Highlight it. All right, complementary to COD. Complementary means sums 90 degrees. So this angle on the left that has the 90 degree symbol, all right? It means that this vertical line and this horizontal line intersect at 90 degrees. Well, this angle right here would also be 90 degrees. So what that does, it tells you that this blue angle right here is complementary to COD. All right, because the blue one and the yellow one together equal 90 degrees. And the vertex that's up here is B. So complementary to COD would be BOC. Number five. MO bisects LMN. MO bisects LMN. So that means this little angle and this little angle are equal to each other. LMO equals 7x minus 23. This is LMO, the whole big angle. No, it's not. LMO is L 
MO. It's the small angle on the left. 7x minus 23. NMO. The small angle on the right is 2x plus 32. Solve for x and find LMN. All right, so you need to solve for x, and then you need to find this entire angle, the big angle. You take 7x minus 23, and if these two angles are equal to each other, then these two expressions are equal to each other. So 7x minus 23 equals 2x plus 32. You can subtract 2x from each side. So 5x minus 23 is equal to 32. You can add 23. So 5x equals 55. And then divide by 5. Your x will equal 11. There's your first answer. So your x is equal to 11. Now you need LMN. So LMN equals... You take the 11 and you go to one of these expressions and you substitute it. So I'm going to do the 2 times 11 plus 32. And that's 22 plus 32, which is 54. Now if that angle is 54 degrees, and these two are equal to each other. The one on the left is 54 degrees. And they asked for the red angle, the big angle, LMN. So you take a 54, and you add it to a 54, and you get 108. Can you just hold the questions, put a star by it or something, and then at the end? That's all right. Number six. The complement of an angle is 64. What is the measure of the angle? You've got two angles. You've got an angle plus an angle equals 90 because it says the complement of an angle. So it says the complement is 64, so that means that A plus 64 is equal to 90. So if you just subtract 64 right here, all right, your A will be equal to 90 minus 64. It's 26. So the angles are 26 and 64 degrees. Then number seven. Number seven says angles one and two are a linear pair. A linear pair form a line. So you've got two angles. Angle one, angle two. It says the measure of angle one is x minus 31. The measure of angle 2 is x plus 75. Find the measures of each angle. It doesn't matter where you put these expressions. What do they have to add up to? 180. Because they are a linear pair. They form a line. So if you take your x right here plus this x, you get 2x. And if you take 75 and you subtract 31, you get positive 44. And those two together, that's combining the two angles, have to equal 180. So you can subtract 44. Your 2x will equal 136. And if you divide by 2, then your x equals 68. Find each angle. 
So one of these angles, this angle, is going to be 68 plus 75. And 68 plus 75 is 143. So here's one angle. The other angle is 68 minus 31. And that is 37 degrees. So those are your two angle measures. The test will be multiple choice, so that'll help. Number eight, DEF. And H. If DEF equals 130, this angle is 130, what are FEG? and HEG. Alright. What did these two have to add up to? 180, right? They form a line. So if you take 180 and you subtract 30, what is FEG equal to? 50 degrees. Now, these two angles here and here are called vertical angles. And don't you know that vertical angles are congruent? All right, so HEG, right? Here's HEG. That angle is also 130. Number nine is a protractor problem. I showed you how to use the protractor yesterday. So we're going to go to number 10. And number 10 is asking for an angle vertical to another angle. Name an angle vertical to JGI. All right, J, G. And I. JGI is this angle. Is this angle. JGI is right there. It's this angle right in here. All of this. Vertical to that angle is an angle that's formed by the same two lines. would be right here. These two angles are vertical angles. All right, so we just got to get the letters. So vertical to J, G, I would be D, G, E. Those are vertical angles. And last, but certainly not least, number 11. And number 11 says, if AOC, AOC, that goes from A to O to C, that's the big angle around the outside, right here, this whole angle. That angle is equal to 49 degrees. BOC from B to O to C 
that angle is equal to 2x plus 10. AOB, from A to O to B, that is 4x minus 15. Find the degree measure of BOC and AOB. So the first thing you have to do is solve for x. They don't tell you anything about an angle bisector. So this angle up top plus the angle below it equal to 49 degrees. Those two expressions added together equal 49. So your 4x plus your 2x, that's a 6x. Negative 15 plus 10. Negative 15 plus 10 is negative 5. And that together have to equal the 49 degrees. So you can add 5 to each side. Your 6x will equal 54. Divide by 6. And x equals 9. There's step 1. BOC, your angle BOC, that's 2 times x plus 10. So BOC is 2 times x, which is 9, plus 10. 2 times 9 is 18, plus 10, 28 degrees. Now, if this angle right here is 28 degrees, and the two of them together are 49 degrees, can't you subtract? If you take 49 minus 28, it'll give you AOB. So 49 minus 28 is 21 degrees. Those are your two angles. All right, that's it for this study guide. And if I can ever get this to stop recording, I can save it.
busy right now. Not right now, I'm busy.